Hello? Hello? Can you guys hear me? Yes! I heard some yells. Can you guys hear me? Yes! This is a love poem. My lover is like the beach. She crashes down on me like high tide on the Santa Monica shore, dropping my temperature but increasing my heart rate while dousing me in a 63 degree treacherous tide of passion. Yes, my lover can be cold, but strangely this cold is nothing compared to the warmth belt in her depths if she chooses to embrace you. Her riptides crash and curl, protecting her sunken treasures and fluorescent reefs, and many men before I ventured and attempted to force their way under, only to be drowned in her extensive pool of complexity. The key is not to rush and force, but to allow her to make her choice and devour you as she pleases, if she pleases, when she pleases, she pleases on first glance. And once you see the riches she conceals in the sandy sheets of her sea bed, it will not be a surprise if you are unable to turn away. But do not take unless it is given to you because she holds all the power. Do not try to control or tame her, but instead sway along with her as she dances nightly to the constant tune of the mystic moon song. I dance every night and I never tire. The ocean makes up 71% of the world, but she makes up 99% of mine. The other 1% consisting of the decorative glossy seaweed, sandy glass, and glassy sand she spits me up with on the shore when she must. Her exterior is frail and fair, like the sea foam that produced the Greek goddess of love, but deep inside she hides shipwrecks and cynical sailors who thought they'd win. She has all the power. How can there be so much delicate beauty in such a destructive being? I've seen her take out whole armadas before my eyes, but I still have trouble focusing on the loveliest sunset when it happens to be setting behind her. To me, she is all seven seas and more, my scurvy heart's desire. <laughs>